Blesse mon cœur d'une langueur monotone. Je répète, blesse mon cœur d'une langueur monotone. Hey everybody, Dutch Sense here. 10.44 p.m. Central Time on Saturday, October 27th, 2012. And we're looking at Earthquake 3D here, which is a USGS feed of the most recent earthquakes. You can see it, a 7.7 .7 magnitude earthquake followed by a 5.8 aftershock struck off the coast of Canada, right on the coast of Canada. And let me go ahead and get the stats on this. All right, 10.9 miles deep, magnitude 7.7 .7 reviewed by a seismologist most likely will go up or down a little bit over the next few hours once they revise the numbers. However, very sizable for the region, and it's in the Queen Charlotte Islands region. So let's go over to the West Coast Alaska Tsunami Warning Center, and they do have a warning event issued. Now let's see if this is going to open up. Uh, I know the site, okay, the service is unavailable. Too many people are trying to hit the site at once for the event details. And uh, let me just go ahead and stop that and refresh it. Okay, there is an event listed, so we'll have to come back and try and get that warning in a few minutes. Be aware that's going on. I'll put the links down below for this, okay? If you get any confirmation stories on this, folks, let me know. Again, it's a huge earthquake for the region. We need to be aware along the West Coast specifically and going along the edge of the North American Craton, okay? Hang in there. Quick follow-up, guys, since there's no tsunami warning issued on this yet. Uh, there are several buoys in event mode up through Alaska going down the West Coast. I just wanted to show this to you. So I'll put the link down below for this as well. This is the only confirmation we have so far of any kind of wave activity. So we've got activity in Hawaii. We've got activity going through Alaska and again along the west coast of the United States. Be aware that's going on. All the links are down below.